Hey everyone! Welcome to my channel and welcome to another edition of Subscription Box Sunday. Today I have five very awesome subscription boxes to share with you all. This week we have the Lush Kitchen subscription, the My Fashion Crate, the Country Wix box, the Amoda Tea Box, and the Just Pizzelles Box. With that, welcome back to all the sub box lovers out there. Welcome if you're new. My name is Katrina and on my channel I unbox lots of different subscription boxes. And on Sundays I like to unbox multiple in one video so you can see them all at once. So if you like these Sunday videos, definitely make sure to give this one a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on future uploads. And let's dive in. I am so happy that you're here hanging out with me today unboxing these boxes. Now, before we dive into the boxes, I want to address the giveaway in last week's video. So I know a lot of you guys added in the comments that you weren't able to get to the link last week for the giveaway. Basically what happened is um, YouTube flagged it as spam and removed the link from my description box. I appealed it and it was approved, so the link is back. However, I know some people were able to apply for the, into the giveaway or enter the giveaway and other people weren't. So. What I'm doing is I'm extending that giveaway. So I won't be reaching out to any giveaway winners today when this goes up, but instead the giveaway is now gonna close on October 28th, Saturday, October 28th at midnight Eastern, and I'm gonna pick the winners on Sunday, October 29th. As always, be wary of scammers. Um, uh, the only way I will contact you is my subbox over at yahoo.com email address. All the details will be down in the description box below. It's the same one as last week's giveaway. If you've already entered into last week's giveaway, you won't be able to re-enter because you're already entered into this giveaway. I felt like that would be the most fair way so that everybody could kind of do that. And I didn't want people who already did it to have to do it again. So. Um, there will be seven winners of the giveaway. It'll be a mystery box of things that I get in subscription boxes and stuff. Um, you, the way to enter is through the link in the description box. You do have to be subscribed and live in the US or Canada in order to win. And again, be wary of scammers. I will pick next Sunday, like I said, and I will email the winners. So. Now let's dive into boxes. I am going to kick things off with the Lush Kitchen subscription. Now normally I do this as a standalone video, but honestly those videos haven't been getting too many views and I'm like, you know what, this month I don't have a lot of space to be able to have a standalone video anyway, like my schedule's full. So I'm like, we're just going to include this in a subscription box Sunday. Now because it hasn't gotten a lot of views like as a standalone video, there might be some of you that haven't seen this before. Now when I say Lush Kitchen, this has nothing to do with an actual kitchen. This is a bath box. Um, so if you know Lush that does like bath bombs and stuff, this is their subscription. It's called Kitchen because like they have a kitchen where they experiment and that's kind of what this comes from. So this is a monthly bath subscription where you're going to get limited edition vegan bath and shower and skincare type products. Um, limited edition because these are not products that you can get in store. They are either brand new scents or they're a prior scents but they're in a different shape, form, or product than what they were sold for originally. Um, so you'll get four to five bath products inside. Now this is the October box, but I think there's gonna be some stuff from September in here, or one thing from September, because they they didn't have it made in time for the September box. Um, the box is, itself is $49.95 a month US, plus $6 shipping. Um, you can also get this box in the Canada and the UK, so the pricing may look a little bit different. I know that the Canadian and the US subscription are the same. I don't know if the UK subscription is any different, um, but let me just say this box smells incredible. I will also say that for like a Halloween box, they've gone all out. Like it's, I think it's like an under the sea type thing because we've got like a little like tentacle from an octopus right here. It says adventures await, be aware, contents may come alive. Now there is a note that does say that we're sorry for being fashionably late. We hope you enjoy your September's glitter bug kitchen exclusive body lotion fresh from the kitchen. So that is inside. I will say this came in like a bigger box. Um, and this was there. So we got this glitter bug. This again is September. This is not part of this box. Um, sparkling and rolly rose and vanilla body lotion. Let's give it a sniff. I think it smells good. I find it really hard to smell out of Lush's bottles. Like I can't ever really get the scent and then when the product comes out, I'm like, oh, that's what it smells like. I didn't realize. So, and I, this is some glitter in it. Yeah, it has little glitter particles in it. So we get the little glitter bug lotion. I guess I should show the box itself. It says, get crackin'. 
It's really cute. It's like sea Halloween themed. And like, look at the Kraken on that. That's a really, really fun artwork. Um, so this is Behold Fresh Treasures. It talks about some of the different oils that they're using in the October box. There are QR codes at the bottom so you can read the magazine, which I'm gonna pull up. You do also get an order slip like you do if you were to place an order on Lush that goes over all the ingredients and all that kind of stuff. I'm not gonna show it because it does have my address on it, but just as an FYI. And I'm pulling out the first product so to show this, but I do wanna show that like, they have finally taken into consideration a lot of the feedback and they have added dividers. So if you can see there's dividers like in, it's hard to see with the packing peanuts, but there's actually dividers so that the products aren't like flying around the box. So I'm so happy to see that because my biggest complaint about this box up until this point was that things got de de damaged and banged up during transit. So I think, I don't know if this is gonna solve everything, but this is definitely a positive step in the right direction. So Lush is known for their wraps. And so like there's an extra product in here, I guess this month, and it's one of their wraps. So they do wrap products in these. And this one's like a big one. This is made of 100% recycled water bottles. Oh, that's so fun. It's like a treasure map. Honestly, this would be cute to hang on a wall too if you have like a kid's bedroom. I don't know if I'd hang it up in my life, but it's a Lush Kitchen exclusive little wrap that they wrap products with and stuff. Um, and it has actual places on it that I don't like pool 29. This must be the UK because um, I think pool is in England. But yeah, you get a cute little wrap. I know Lush is known for them. I don't really ever do anything with that because I'm not a big person into wraps, but I think this one's really cute and it definitely makes sense with the theme for the month. All right, the first thing that I'm pulling out is a little pot and this is Smuggler's Soul. And this is a deep smoky sandalwood that stirs the spirits from their slumber. Fresh cucumber keeps the skin cool and almond oil hydrates. This is a multi-purpose cream. So I guess you can use it all over your body. This was a community pick. So each month you do get to vote for products. Now this is not a choice product. You're voting as a community. And so based on how the community votes, some of those products may end up in the box. Not necessarily all of them. So if you really wanted smuggler's oil and nobody else wanted it, then it wouldn't have ended up in the box, if that makes sense. So let's open this up and take a peek. Oh, I don't know if I like it. <laughs> It smells like campfire and rubber a little bit. It's definitely spilled a little bit, but I wanna see the consistency. It seems like really lightweight. Let's see what it smells like on the skin. It's giving me like liquid, it kind of smells like liquid smoke. Oh, it's like, yeah, it's definitely a natural smoky thing. It, it kind of smells like bonfire a little bit, but not as bonfire-y. Um, I will say it's a little bit messy, like getting it off the thing. Um, it definitely smells like, it's definitely growing on me. Is it my favorite scent ever? No, I'm not gonna lie. But I do like it. That's obviously the risk you take with any box that has scents and things, you may not like it. I don't not like it, it's not my go-to. But it's very hydrating, my skin feels really, really nice. So a little pot of Smuggler's Soul. I will also say this is not listed as a product in this box, so I'm wondering if this is a freebie because of them leaving this off of last month. Um, this is their Give Me Body Soap. So I'm not sure if this was like just left off from September so or like this is their little gift for like saying sorry it's late. But it smells really nice and kind of like lime. I'm assuming, yeah, this is soap. Yeah, it does say soap. It's on the product list but not on the like online. It's like on this one without showing my address and not the online version. So it smells really nice. I'm excited for that. And I do like that they like, oh, we're late and they sent it in the next box, but they also gave a little something extra. I think that's a nice touch. All right, up next, we've got a treasure test with a skull on it. This is the Pirates of the Caribbean bath bomb. This again was a community pick and kitchen exclusive. So it says when things are feeling adrift, hoist the anchor and set sail on a voyage to calm the seas. It has softening seaweed um, while woody, sandalwood and patchouli keep you grounded. Oh, it's a very earthy scented box so far, but I'm here for it. You've definitely got like rose gold or like copper glitter on it. And I think it looks really cool. It's a kind of hefty one. And I do like that they kept things separate so that this gold wouldn't get over everything else in the box. Oh, big fan. I love their bath bombs. Up next, we have the scrub, scrub, scrub 
body scrub. Um, so it says, dare to delve beneath the surface into a pot of black crystals with blackberry and lime purees. Scrub up in the shower and be amazed by the magical transformation that takes place. Oh, I wonder, does this change colors or something? I do also love that they've changed the like packaging lettering to green since we're like, it's kind of a Halloween spooky like sea type box. I also love the spin on Halloween that they went kind of like sea-like with it. Ooh, not what I was expecting. This reminds me of like a German candy almost. Who is it? Oh, there's like menthol. This again was a community pick. It's like, like, I don't even know if you're gonna be able to see, like, it's like black. And it smells. Oh, I love that. It's definitely got blackberry. You get the lime. It's like something menthol y is in here, too, like minty. Oh, that's divine. I'm so excited to use it. So far, this is the. I might be the most excited about this, and I'm not normally excited about scrubs, but this sounds amazing. All right, up next is such a cute bath bomb. This is the Pumpkin Patch Bath Bomb. It says, soak in sparkling waters with a citrusy scent of uplifting grapefruit and juniper berry. Organic pumpkin seed oil softens and nourishes the skin. This is giving me a little bit of, is it giving me Snow Fairy? It's giving me one of those scents and it smells delicious. Oh, it smells so good. And it's so cute. It's a little pirate pumpkin, y'all. Like, this is so, so cute. Oh, I'm so excited about that. I might need to use that one tonight. And then last but not least, I'm excited because we finally got another full-size shower gel. This says, lather up from beard to toe with this spicy, smoky wash made with a bounty of fenugreek, oh, fra fragrant fenugreek and conditioning carrot seed oil. So it's got like sparkles in it and it's red. I wanna smell this. Again, smelling out of their bottles, I feel like never actually smells the same as how it actually smells when you get it out of the bottle, but we're gonna give it a sniff. It smells very natural vegetable, <laughs> which isn't bad. It's like smoky carrots, maybe? Again, it's really hard to know until you get it out, but it smells good. It wasn't what I was expecting it to be, but it does definitely smell good. It's a little red beard shower gel. All right, and that is everything in the October Lush Kitchen Box. I really like the October box. I'm one, super happy that they fixed the packaging issue. Two, I think this came with some really great items inside, like genuinely really great. Do I love all the scents? No, but I don't dislike any of them, like to the point where I wouldn't use a product. And I also like that they included a little extra thing because they sent the September thing late. And, oh, this might be my favorite scent, y'all. It smells really good, very limey. Um, so yeah, I'm a big fan. I think it's at the November box that's curated by like the co-founder or something, I can't remember. But yeah, I really like this box. If you're into Lush products or bath products, then this may be a fun box for you. So I will leave a link down below in case you're interested in signing up. All right, up next, let's dive into the Country Wix box for October. Now, if you're unfamiliar with the Country Wix box, this is a monthly candle subscription where each month you get a hand poured handmade candle and a little gift. The box itself is $25 a month plus shipping. And I do have a 15% off coupon code down below. Um, from here on out, everything that is in this video was sent to me free for review, but I do pay for the Lush Kitchen with my own money. When you open up the box, this is what it looks like. Oh my gosh. It's so Halloween fall fun. Okay, I'm obsessed. So this month, a little free gift is this super cute little plaid scarecrow guy. So that's a little cheerful fall display. It's not so scary. Um, you can put it onto your tray, a little hutch. Oh my God, his little hands are so cute. I love him. Okay, look, he can sit here for the rest of the video because he's so cute at him. Can you see him good there? I don't know. Well, he's just gonna sit there. Then you do get the candle, which does come in a little drawstring bag each month. <gasps> and this candle is called Spooky Season. Um, so this has says it has notes of simmering cranberry and juicy red apple stirred in a bubbling cauldron along with the buttery pecan and a hint of cinnamon. Dare to follow the alluring scent that leads to this creepy cottage. <gasps> Oh, I love it. I love it. They do come in these super duper cute mason jar candles. This is a seven ounce one. These come with like really nice like metal lids. Standard wax and wick. Let's give this a sniff. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, this is a good, like she has good. This is the like almost like the perfect fall scent. It's got the like fruity appleiness with the cinnamoniness with the yummy, yummy, yummy. It's like yummy fall. 
Oh, I love it. It's so good. The cranberry, the apple, the pecan, the cinnamon. It's just like, oh, my mouth is like actually watering because it smells. Oh, it smells so good. And this is like a small woman owned business. She makes these candles and oh, I highly recommend this box because you get your little, your little guy. I don't know if he'll look exactly the same as mine for the October box. Oh, this might be one of my favorite ones she's done yet. I feel like I say that every single month when I get these, but like, Ugh, it's so good. Like this is so fall. I want to light it right now because it just oh this is will give you such the fall vibe. So big fan of the spooky season. Huge fan of this October box. And again, I'll leave that 15% off code down below in case you're interested in signing up. Now because we're into cozy season, it is time for like warm beverages, lots of teas. And so up next, we're gonna talk about the Amoda tea box. Now this is a monthly tea subscription. It's a loose leaf tea subscription based out of Canada, but you can order it in the US in US dollars. So each month you get four teas that are customizable. So you can pick the teas that go in there and each month they have five to six new teas to choose from. You can also get 10 tea bags with this as well if you're wanting some tea bags to go with a loose leaf tea. And the box is 22 US dollars a month. And it's just, it comes in this like a really thin envelope. It's so cute. Um, I do have a coupon code down below where you can get 40% off your first box. Now, I should preface, I think I've done this in all the other ones. I don't drink caffeine. So none of the teas in here are gonna be caffeinated. There are plenty of um, rubois or rooibos, however you say it, and herbal teas that do not have caffeine. But if you're like, no, I really want caffeine, there are those options. I just don't get them because that's not what I'm into. And there's probably more options for that than there are for this. So when you open it up, that is what it looks like. You get your little teas there and I just knocked them out of the way. And you do get a little roll of the 10 tea bags. There's always a little note from them too. I guess they've added a couple teas to their inventory from the Nepal Tea Collective, which is on a mission to lift millions of farmers out of poverty by selling fresh tea to consumers around the world. Um, so yeah, really, really cool. So you can pick those to help support them in a future box. All right, let's go through the four that I selected. The first one is marzipan cookies. How good does that smell? Not smell, sound y'all. Um, so this is from Thesaurus Tea. It's a caffeine free tea, you steep for five to seven minutes. So this has red rubois, arroibus, I always say that wrong, papaya, pear, almond, cinnamon, cloves, natural organic flavors. This does contain almonds, but I just feel like marzipan cookie tea just sounds so, so good. The next tea that I selected was Nourish Tea. Um, this is made by Amoda themselves. This has dandelion root, red clover blossom, goji berries, nettle, ginger, marshmallow, Cameo flowers, licorice root, and um, some of these are organic. The steeps for five minutes. Again, another caffeine-free option. This one says, reset and feel refreshed with this gentle nourishing blend of ar aromatic herbs, floral and sweet with roasted earthy undertones. So, a nice little nourish tea. Then we have the Kathmandu Cosmos, which is this one here. Um, this is from the Nepal Tea Collective, which is what they talked about. So this must've been one of the new teas for the month. Um, so it says, this is a herbal chai blend that opens with a zesty ginger and cinnamon leaf, uplifting notes of citrus, follow playfully. Um, and this is naturally caffeine free. So it's cinnamon leaf, ginger, lemongrass, black cardamom, orange peel, and it's organic and steeps for five. And then another fall fun scent. We have a spiced cranberry joy. This is from Steve's Artisan Teas. So it says bright cranberry notes marry well with the rich and woody flavors from the red rooibos. Accents of tangy rose hips, lime leaves, and sweet cinnamon. And you can just enjoy this. So it is rooibos, cranberry pieces, rose hips, lime leaves, cinnamon, and natural flavors. This one steeps for five to seven minutes. So I love that they kind of have some like the cranberry and the marzipan cookie. Like these are kind of like fun fall things. And then they have some more like regular seasonal teas as well. So I love that. If Again, if you like caffeinated teas, there is a bigger selection there. The selection is actually very good for um, non-caffeinated, but there's so many teas that you can pick from. And again, you do get to customize your box. So if you're in the mood for a tea box and you want to um, try out some new teas and get comfy and cozy, I highly recommend the Amoda Tea Box. Again, I do have that 40% off coupon code down below in case you're interested in signing up. All right, up next, I'm very excited to unbox the Just Pizzelles box for October. Now I've unboxed this one be once before and it was so much fun to unbox. This is a monthly Pizzelles subscription. Now if you're unfamiliar, 
familiar with pizzelles. They are a, like an Italian cookie. Um, I grew up eating pizzelles. My neighbor down the street would make them. I think I told the story in the last time I unboxed them. And so I'm a big fan and they have so many fun flavors. So this box is $37.95 a month. And each month you will get one baker's dozen, so 13 pizzelles variety pack of their popular flavors. You'll get the same thing, one dozen, one baker's dozen, 13 pizzelles of the seasonal slash holiday flavors of the month. Their fa one favorite pack for pizzelles of flavor of the month and one favorite pack for pizzelles of a specialty flavor or design. A flavor lab, lab pack of two pizzelles of a new flavor. Um, you get some swag, so like sticker, a sticker and um, gifting stickers and like gift tags and ribbons. So if you don't wanna eat all the pizzelles yourself and you wanna re-gift them, it gives you the stuff in this box to do that. Now, if you're not in the market for a subscription, they do also just sell different packs of pizzelles and things on their site as well, which is also an option. So I will leave a link down below. I don't think I have a code for them, but let's open up some pizzelles. Oh my gosh, it is like chock full of so many pizzelles. So you do get a calendar for the next month. So we get a little November calendar that goes over different like international days. So like the 21st of November is a natural gingerbread cookie day. Oh, and they have a little witchy just pizzelle sticker in here too, which is very cute. Ooh, okay, so the Flavor Lab flavor this month is cookie dough. Ooh, okay, so you get two of the test flavor, the Flavor Lab, which are these cookie dough ones. It looks like it's cookie dough spread and covered in chocolate. You get two of those. So this is kind of like what a Pizzelle cookie looks like on the back. So it has the little flavors. It does give you the ingredients there, and they are already very nicely wrapped. Then you do get the fours of the favorite flavors. So one of them is orange and chocolate. And this one's really cute because they have little, it's hard to show, but they have little pumpkin faces on them. So the cookie will be flavored, I think probably in orange and then chocolate on the top. I love a good orange chocolate combo. And those faces are so cute for Halloween. And then the other, oh, the other favorite flavor, oh my God, I'm to die for is white chocolate pretzel. Oh my God, my sister's gonna fight me for these. I also love the little googly eyes. So there's like pretzels on there and there's like sprinkles. These ones are like thick, but there's another four in there. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. Oh my gosh. All right, then you get your two stacks of favorite flavors, which I'm thinking is this one. And then this one is the other flavor. So let's open these both up. So they do also, like I said, include that little gifting tag, which you have here, and then some little stickers that you can put on them too if you're gonna gift them, which is always really nice. All right, let's do favorite flavors before we get into the seasonal fav flavors. Oh, and there's a little ribbon to tie that gift thing with. <gasps> okay, the first one we have is Butterfinger. Look at how delicious that looks. And they do have like little stickers so you know what they are. Then we have, ooh, coconut almond. That sounds good. So that one came with two. This one comes with three. Like I said, it's a baker's dozen. So you do get a mix of some of the flavors have two and some of them have three. Ooh, then we have a peppermint patty. Like a mint and chocolate moment. This one comes with three. Ooh, we have a Buckeye. I don't know what that is, but it looks like there's a ton of peanut butter. It looks like peanut butter and chocolate. Like there's like a thick layer of peanut butter too. Ooh, that looks good. <gasps> oh, yes. Okay, then we have Twix, which is like, look at that caramel on there with chocolate. I love a caramel chocolate vibe. Oh my goodness, that one looks to die for. So those are all of the cookies and the favorite flavors. And now let's get into the seasonal ones. Ooh, okay, up first we have candy corn. Let's get the fun little candy corn shape, and or colors, excuse me, and there's two of those there. <gasps> oh, I can smell this one. And then we have some pumpkin pie. That looks so yummy. <gasps> then we have sour green apple. <gasps> Chocolate lovers, ooh, that looks delish. And we have chocolate chip, but these are fun because they're kind of like orange with chocolate chip. There's three of those in there. So those are all of the pizzelles that you get in this box. I do want to try one. I don't want to do a tasting video because like we don't got time for that. But I think I'm going to try this Twix one because that one sounded so good. So this is what it like looks like up close. <sighs> Y'all. Okay. Okay. Not going to lie. That was so good. I like it better than a Twix. It just has so much caramel. Oh, it's so good. I only had a bite because I'm trying to be good, but I will be finishing that cookie later because it was delicious. 
I'm so excited to try all the different flavors because it's just this is just so much fun again if this is a lot of cookies for you, you can obviously gift them and things like that too and they're already really nicely wrapped I also have all the nutritional information on the back if you gift them as well so definitely let me know what your thoughts down in the comments below what did you think of the October just Pizzelles box I'm very excited and I can't wait to dive in and taste all these oh my gosh look at this they, they did like the it's spooky month thing here, but like look at all the co the spooky cookies together You could lay them out on a platter like that and like serve them if you're having like a party and things like that too That would be so so fun So again, definitely let me know your thoughts down in the comments below and I will leave a link in case you're interested in signing up All right, and last but not least today we are going to dive into the my fashion crate which is a monthly curated fashion subscription now previously again I've similar to the lush kitchen I've done a standalone video but I just don't have the space in my schedule this month to do that so I'm like we're gonna include it in a subscription box Sunday um, so if you're not watching my weekly videos you're missing out on some of these really cool boxes normally because I don't have everything in each if that makes sense um, so in this box you get a curated set of styled clothing you also get accessories beauty items gift cards and more you get to keep everything in the box so it's not like a styling service where you have to like send it back or pay extra to to get certain things everything in the box you get yourself you do take a survey when you sign up to share your style and the box is $59.95 a month plus shipping so I will leave a link down below in case you're interested in signing up when you open up the box that is what it looks like it says welcome to your new obsession all right so I think this is the October box um, I don't know if the theme is grateful if they're saying they're grateful for us um, but it does talk about the different things that you're getting inside, so I'll just do a little sneaky peeky there. So there's two apparel items, which I think I'm probably gonna open last, because I will try them on in the video. But the first thing is wrapped up like this. This is from Arlokia, and this is a necklace, which is handmade and crafted in a fair trade artisan cooperative in India. Ooh, okay. This is really pretty. It's a very unique necklace. So you've got like the metal with the chains and then you've got the different fabric structure. This is very pretty. It's very different from anything that I already own. But again, this is handmade in India and helps create jobs, promote equality, promote education and preserve cultural traditions. Very, very nice. Then we have something from Adore Aromatherapy. These are like the extra item, not the extra items, but like the other stuff other than the fashion stuff. Um, so this has some essential oils that help heal with healing properties and can balance the body. So this is the Room Boost Blissful. This is a ooh, blood orange and bergamot set. So, oh, is it a little real room spray? Okay. Or is this a roll on? Ooh. It smells very citrusy and nice. So this is just like a little room boost, little room spray. I guess you could spritz it on yourself too. Um, yeah. Ooh, yummy. I love the orangey scent and I love the orangey packaging. It kind of goes with a fall. So you get a little room spray. I'm here for that. I'm here for that. I know that's like a, like a little bit random in a fashion box, but I'm so here for that. Then there is a bonus surprise gift that you get for long-term and upgraded subscriptions. I believe it is this pair of socks. So it's a lovely long pair of socks from Mark Ashton Women's Accessories. They're really, really nice. They're super long. They do fold over at the top in a neutral color. So some nice socks. And then we get to the clothes items. So this is like the top. And I'm so curious to see what this top is because this tells me nothing. So this is from Tonley. Now again, the clothing items are curated based on your profile. So, and I think I gave them like information on my sizes and stuff and profile, obviously. I'm out, both of the stuff here is size small. So I'm very curious to see what this is. Now, you, like I said, you may get other things, but let's see what this is. Okay, so it's, I'm gonna be honest, it's a little crumply from being wrapped in the thing, but it's just like this cute little, almost like poncho crop top moment. Why am I not showing this good? I don't think I like that color for me. We'll have to see if it drowns me out. That color may not be good for me, but it's kind of like a square-like thing, kind of like an oversized vibe from Tonley. Definitely cute. Again, the color is where I'm like, I don't know if I can do the color on my skin tone, but it is very, very cute. It's just like, like my skin tone exactly, <laughs> almost. A little bit darker. Ooh, and then to go with that, we've got a cardigan. This is actually really cute. It's a navy blue cardigan. Um, it's very soft um, and it's a long cardigan. It's got little pockets at the front. Okay. 
It's kind of hard to see right now, obviously, because it's not on. So let me try on the top and the cardigan and show it on for y'all. All right, up first, I'm just starting with the top itself. Now, I'm gonna be honest, I'm wearing like sweatpants that are really big at the hips, so it's making me look really wide, but I'm wearing pants that are making me look wide anyway, like, and it's also the shot because you can't see my legs. But it actually is very comfortable and very cute. Again, I'm still not sure on like whether or not the color will be good for my skin tone or whether it kind of like, drowns me out. Wow, you're, I forgot, these are like my junky sweatpants, so I'm sorry that y'all gotta see that. Um, but it's nice. It's not, I thought I'd be like really cropped. It's not, like it comes down to where I would want a shirt to, and it's very like fun and free. So I do enjoy the top. So now let's try on the cardigan. All right, so this is the cardigan. We got little pockets there. I actually really do like this cardigan. It's very soft. I don't wear a ton of navy, but I feel like I could definitely wear more navy. So a nice little cardigan. Definitely feels like, the cardigan definitely feels like, oh, we're going in to fall for sure. The shirt, not so much. Um, but a very, very cute combo. All right, and that is everything in the My Fashion Crate. I'm just gonna wear this to the end of the video at this point. Um, so that's everything in the My Fashion Crate for October. Definitely curious on what your thoughts are for the October box. Again, I'll leave a link down below in case you're interested in signing up. I don't think I have a code for it though. And that is everything in this week's subscription box Sunday. We've got to get into favorite box and favorite product. Okay, this one's hard because it's had a lot of really good boxes. I'm gonna do two, even though there's only five boxes in this video. My favorite boxes this month were actually Lush Kitchen and also the Country Wix box, but I really loved all the boxes this month. Um, Favorite product, we're gonna have to go for our little guy friend here because he's just so cute. Honestly, the candle could also be a favorite product because it smelled so, 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 so good. So just everything in the Country Wix box. Mm delicious. So definitely let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. What was your favorite box? What was your favorite product? Again, the giveaway is currently open until next week. So make sure to enter if you're interested and beware of scammers. If you liked this video, definitely make sure to give it a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on future uploads. And I'll see you in my next video.